27, killing it. I am so excited. Also, good we morning. are excited. Good we are morning. Excited. You're excited as part of this? Whoa. You look good. My hair. There's like his blue glasses. You guys, JD doesn't wear these aren't normal glasses. They're blue glasses. You can tell in the in the they're, recording they're like blue uh, with the screen. So we have been working hard, and by we, I stepped on JD's toe. I'm sorry. It's okay. It's okay. And by we, I actually don't mean us. I mean my mom and sister. <laughs> no, so actually everybody go, involved. Let me go show you in the front room all the coats. I feel like I'm running a marathon, and I got like 95% of the way, and I got lost. So now I'm just running around with my head cut off. No, not really, but we are trying to figure out how to get the coats, the money that you guys donated, the coats that we bought, to the best place possible. I want as many of these coats to land with kids that actually really need them as possible. So, I have now contacted Beckham School and the other school, and it was kind of hard because it was like, well, let me talk to the counselor, let me see what kid needs what, you know, like, kind of been a long process emailing back and forth. So I finally think we have figured out. We're giving 10 coats to Peyton School, 10 coats to my friend's school that is also in need. Then we are taking some to a Christmas box house. And this is what makes me wanna cry. The Christmas box house is a house for children who, are you coming in? Yeah, I wanna be here. So the Christmas box house is a house for kids who are taken uh, by child protection services and taken right over to that house. So like let's say they're taken in the middle of the night, they're taken to that house until they can find foster placement. And so I had, um, my friend's a school counselor and I had her make a list of like all the places we could possibly take the coats. And that one like, every time I talk about that place, I feel chills. Like I just feel like. Well yeah, I, I was just like, once we're done raising our kids, can we, like, can we do foster can we do care? Foster care? I think we we'll love that. For real. So, um, so yeah, so every time I've just felt like that's where we need to bring some, but they only take new coats. So now we've had to like separate them. So we've separated them once into sizes. Then my mom and sister went through and put a pair of gloves in every single coat, but they had to match them size wise, which was a lot of work. Now we've separated them again. We are in washing them, and once again, my mom is in washing the used ones. Like this has been a lot, been good. and that's why I stayed. Like we ran this, like you know, 95% of the race collecting the money, and now all of a sudden I'm like, oh, this is not over. Like got, got a lot, lot to do. More. So we're taking, like I said, 10 to each school, 20 to the Lantern Box House. Then we have 10 we're taking to a YCC. It's like a homeless or a battered shelter for. Um, a battered shelter for women and children. And then we're gonna donate the last, I think there'll be about 20. Honestly, I've lost count of how many we have now. We're around 65. And then we'll take the last 20 to student services. So my friend that's the counselor said that you can call the school district and then give them to student services and when all the school counselors meet, they'll say the need like, hey, we have a need of a size seven, eight, and then it will go directly to that school district. So I feel like that way, I was a little worried to like just drop off random coats to a school because yeah, they might use it for years from now, but like that might not be what the need is. So I feel better about that. We've committed to the two schools. I'm gonna drop off 10 to each of them, but I do feel good about student services because that'll give them yeah. directly where needed. Yeah. So anyways, okay, so the rest of this. Oh. Sorry, I think I need to say hi to Rock. You think I need to say hi to Rocky hey, boy? Say hi, hey, Rock. Rock. Say hey, guys. There's my happy boy. Hi, guys. Oh. <laughs> Just the sweetest little all-star. Yep. Uh, <laughs> yes. No, we're good. That. So I'm going to continue to work throughout today. And then tomorrow is my appointment. I had to make appointments to drop them off to the women's shelter as well as the Christmas box house. So tomorrow's actually that appointment. Today I'm going to drop some off to Peyton's school. And then um, tomorrow we'll also drop them off to the other school representative. So most of this will be done tomorrow, but for today I'm gonna go take Peyton to physical therapy. So these ones are the ones for the woman's shelter. We've got these ones for one school district. We've got some of them in the dryer. These are the ones for Peyton and Beckham school. Look how cute, I'm obsessed with this one. Then there's these ones for the student services for the school district and these ones for the Christmas box house. So 
I think we have them all pretty much organized. And then we have some extra hats and gloves that we are gonna donate as well. So I'm waiting for Peyton at piano. We just dropped off the coats at her school. The uh, school district representative finally called me back. So hopefully we'll get some more answers about where to donate these coats. Yes, I am. Okay, great. So they just wondered if you were able to bring them into the district office and we can get them out to the, the schools that would need them. I don't know if yeah. you're able to do that. Um, yes, I am about to take my daughter to physical therapy today, but I could bring them in tomorrow. Is the office open at all tomorrow? We are actually not. We're we will not. be out until Monday, unfortunately. Okay. Or fortunately, depending on how you're looking at that. Right? <laughs> yes, that's true. Good for you guys. Okay, well, um, is it okay if I drop them off Monday then? I don't think there's any way I can get in there before, in between physical yeah. therapy. No, that's just fine. That, I mean, it is short notice, and we wouldn't be able to get them out to schools that's true. just late anyway, because most of them are closed. So Monday is just fine. Okay. If you just want to, um, I don't know if you want to let me know when you're on your way or sure. you can just check in with the receptionist and just um, tell them you're here to meet me. Okay, and your name is Stacy, right? Yep, Stacy and Student Services. Okay, and so are you at the school district office or are you at the high school? I'm at the school district office. Okay, so change of hands. So originally we had planned on dropping these coats off Monday or, well, ideally tomorrow, but they're closed for the Thanksgiving break. So, she just called me, it is 344. I need to get paid into physical therapy by 415. In between that time, I need to pick up my new night guard because I grind my teeth at night. Who's surprised? But I, um, but she said she's open till 430. We are half an hour away from Peyton's physical therapy, and apparently the school district office is like across the street. So, I am swinging by. We are going to hurry and donate these coats instead today. Look at that little helper! Thank you! Poppy! You got some coats and gloves? Oh, perfect. Thank you, I'll take those. Thank you! <laughs> Yay! Service is happy! Oh, thank you! I love you! I love you more! <laughs> Alright, so unexpected, but we are here to donate more coats. So are you gonna hold that for me? Alright, are you ready? Cold. It is getting cold, huh? It's getting cold, which is good because then we can give coats to people. Happy. Yes, I'm so happy. Okay, we now have five minutes to get to physical therapy. I'm freezing. Oh, oh. I haven't, I haven't really recorded much when we're like giving it to them because it feels really weird and against everything my parents taught me to record yourself doing service. I feel so uncomfortable like handing it to them. Plus, I plus obviously I don't want to like blast what school district my kids are in and. <laughs> And they're school officials, so they're not supposed to be recorded. So I haven't been recording, obviously, a whole lot in there when I actually do the handoff. Plus, it's just going to, like, secretaries and stuff. But I wanted to let you know why we weren't doing a whole lot of recording in there. It's just weird. You know, you kind of, like, are taught to do, or do service in secret. Like, anyways, I don't have time for this. We gotta go. We got physical therapy in six minutes. Look at her walking like a boss. She knows where she's going. Mom doesn't, but she does. Yes. Hey, can I see your foot? Sure. Show them this. Let me see the bottom of your foot. I won't touch it. Did you guys see all of that? Okay, hold still so I can focus. Peyton stepped on a pine cone, like a Christmas decoration pine cone. Yeah. Does it hurt? Or is it feeling okay? It's like if I rub my foot against this, like it hurts. Foot, like if I rub it on this foot, yeah, it hurts. But like if I'm walking, it doesn't hurt. There were slivers in there I had to pull out. It was bleeding, it was so bad. How does that feel? You like it? So have you ever had this? I, ha uh, I have actually, I think one time, but I can't remember what for. Probably for your arm. Uh, it might have been for my arm. I think I was in a car accident when I was about your age. It might have been for the car accident, I don't remember.
27, I'm killing it. Alright, what a day. Oh my gosh. Are you tired? I'm so tired. This has been the longest day of I my life. I think she's life. tired. I've been doing nothing for nine months pregnant to like field trip, DI drop off, piano, <laughs> dropping off coats, two hours of physical therapy. I'm just, I'm done though. She killed it. She crushed it today. I'm she, done yeah. Uh, so and I'm officially back at work, so I'm not able to help her with those little things and errands and, and stuff like that So really I've been down in my dungeon for the last like forever. I feel like now going back to work um, And it's it's hard to go back to work I want to just be with everybody else up here upstairs, and I'm just down in my office. It was a good day though I feel like it was good Peyton, was Peyton was Yeah and the coats two, and all that stuff. The first two coat drop-offs are done and finish up tomorrow. And it, I was really excited. Like I didn't think we'd get it done before Thanksgiving, so. Yeah. Go Team Big Mallard. steps, big steps. And thank you guys again. It's awesome. And you gotta just say hi to this little guy. Say hi. Everybody say hi to Rock. Say hi, Rock. He's so sweet. He is the sweetest. He's so sweet. And especially, he's the sweetest when he's sleeping. He is just a good boy when he's sleeping. But when he's not, <laughs> he's a good boy. But sometimes his stomach is just hurting him a little bit. But anyway, so hopefully we get a good night's sleep tonight. We need it, Michelle needs it especially. Um, and uh, pray for her. We all need it, we all need help. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. Thanks for joining. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe, like, thank you all. We appreciate it and we'll see you next time.